morning. Good morning. Good morning and welcome to the speakers and the participants. Uh, my name is uh, Giovanni Amateis and I am uh, responsible for the uh, Research Innovation uh, Directorate in uh, Piedmont region. We are uh, very pleased to virtually host uh, this meeting dedicated to supporting uh, zero emission in mobility, in particular uh, in the logistic uh, sector. Um, Regione Piemonte, as a major industrial region, is engaged in a challenging process of transition where the ability to combine competitiveness and uh, sustainability plays a key role in order to, to contribute to the achievement of uh, the, uh, the decarbonization targets and uh, at the same time support uh, new development uh, tra trajectories and uh, economic diversification for the, the Piemontese system. In uh, the last year, we granted uh, the research and, and development support in the automotive sector regarding, for uh, example, the development of uh, alternative drive system, electric, uh, hydrogen, hybrids, energy supply, supply and storage, technologies for uh, end uh, of life. And of course, we participate, uh, participated in uh, MA Europe activities for financing uh, electric mobility projects. In the next uh, year, uh, the challenge is uh, to broaden the perspective uh, uh, toward uh, sustainable mobility, including uh, freight mobility and uh, the logistics sector and the focus uh, on cross-sectoral policies that facilitate uh, not only uh, the development, but uh, also the adoption of uh, innovative solutions. Uh, in this spirit, we recently approved the regional strategy on, hydro on uh, hydrogen that uh, will be presented in uh, a while by Tiziana Dell'Ono. That's why we decided to organize the, this workshop and uh, ensure that uh, given the rich agenda, it uh, will be a fruitful event. So have uh, a, nice day, a nice day and uh, good uh, luck to all. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Giovanni, for the, for the introduction. And uh, now I'm uh, task and the next speaker. I'm Fernando Lies. I'm the Secretary General of Alice. I'll do a very short introduction and then I will moderate uh, uh, session one and uh, with uh, many uh, prominent speakers from from Italy that will drive us into the programs and projects and strategies in, uh, in Italy and Piedmont. So from, from Alice, uh, really, as Marcia said, we, we really wanted to go into this uh, series of workshops and getting closer to countries and, and regions because we understand that uh, there is an urgent need uh, uh, of action in order to address the climate change uh, objectives. Uh, actually, uh, I read uh, this uh, morning that uh, last summer has been uh, the year with uh, more anomalies in terms of climate all over the world. So this is uh, a signal that we need to move uh, in, this, uh, in this direction and uh, we need to do it urgently. And then uh, on the other side, uh, we see that freight transport and logistics is, is crucial, is very important in many of the disruptions we have had in terms of uh, pandemics or now the, the situation with the, with the war, uh, ensuring freight transport and logistics and supply chains work uh, well, it's uh, really a need and a demand. So in this situation, we uh, on one hand, uh, we need uh, freight transport and logistics, and this needs to be uh, supported. On the second, we need to, de to decarbonize. And actually, uh, road freight transport is one of the sectors more complex to, to decarbonize, uh, particularly because there are huge interdependency across different sectors, vehicle manufacturers, energy supply, infrastructure, and users, but also uh, a lot of uh, public and private collaboration is needed. Current technologies uh, uh, development and market adoption is too slow for us in Alice and really to reach the objectives that we need to reach in order to avoid uh, uh, having the consequences of climate change, particularly 55% emission reduction by 2030 set by the Fit for 55 uh, program. It's really challenging and we need to act and collaborate uh, in order to address this. 
So now uh, we are uh, aiming on getting our network to work together on this. And we really believe having more exchanges between different initiatives at regional, national, European level, trying to build synergies and really uh, create the, the right framework in Europe to advance faster. So then uh, things uh, and adoption of the vehicles infrastructure are really as fast as possible can, can help. And this is why we are doing this, uh, this series of events also uh, that are supported through the entrance uh, project in which we are particularly working on how first in kind solutions uh, can be taken by the by the market and how we can help this uh, them with uh, financing or other other measures so mid september we presented uh, market analysis on zero emissions availability and we launched uh, uh, calls to support carriers and transportation companies willing to learn and invest on zero emission technologies. And, and we had some exchanges with uh, some of the European uh, stakeholders. So I would invite you, if you wish, to revisit that, that webinar in case you could not attend and really engage in this uh, collaboration. So uh, at the end, also, we aim with uh, Alice to have a comprehensive uh, mapping of supporting programs and initiatives and learn from them so then we can broadly serve uh, to all our stakeholders. So this is my, my introduction. I really uh, wish you can, as participants of this uh, workshop, also engage in next steps and really looking forward to, uh, to it. And now 